All right, kings and queens, as you can see, we got the 1.3 tip, and we're getting ready to spray the Monte Carlo. And we're spraying that 26 pounds with the R500, the OG. And I am your host today, the Underground Paint King, the People's Champ. Now listen, we all know priming videos just ain't that exciting. So, I'm going to do my best to make this as exciting as possible as you watch me spray on some primer to the 72 Monte Carlo. you probably seen the short. This is the same Monte Carlo. Getting it all primed up, ready to go. First go around of the primer, and uh, for anybody that's thinking which primer I'm spraying, I'm actually doing the Dupla Color uh, Lacquer Primer, Primer Surfacer. It is only the first go around. I'm going to sand off probably, who knows, 70, 80, 90 percent of this, so, you know, nobody nobody start falling out we're gonna block it out so uh sit back and enjoy now as i was saying we're gonna block this primer out it's just the first go round gonna block it out you know see if we can find any uh, imperfections that we might have missed if we got any low spots any high spots you know and see if uh, how straight we really got it so after doing all of that then if we got any uh, issues with the body we will you know, fix those issues. After fixing the issues, then uh, we will prime again. And then go through the whole process again until we get it straight. All right, now that we got that out of the way, I wanted to discuss, you know, R500s, the A610s, you know, any type of LVLP spray gun that we have shown on the channel and, uh, you know, using them with small compressors. And I know somebody's going to ask if I'm using a small compressor in this video, and the answer is no. I am not using a small compressor. And uh, if I were using a small compressor, I would definitely you know let you know that I'm using a small compressor or you know you will see it in the thumbnail in the title something like that you know I wouldn't uh, make content about small compressors that you know isn't even using a small compressor and that's kind of my discussion right now how do you feel you know drop me something in the comments and let me know how do you feel about channels that you know do content on LVLP spray guns without actually using small compressors now you know they they telling you that it'll work with a small compressor but haven't proven anything so I gotta know how do you feel about channels that just discuss that you know these spray guns work with a small compressor without actually hooking them up to a small compressor and showing you how to do paint work 
with a small compressor and a LVLP spray gun. That's just something I just want to know for myself how you feel about it. I've done plenty of videos with a small compressor with the R500s with you know several different guns that are LVLP. I've showed you that they hooked up you know to the small compressor and uh, what you're capable of pulling off with a small compressor. And what I'm wondering is, if I'm working way harder than I should be, I mean, I really want to show all of you what you're capable of and what you can do, but, you know, is it necessary? Can I join the pact of not even proving to you any of this stuff actually works? Because, I mean, that's that's pretty much what's going on here on YouTube. Channels don't even have to prove what they say will work. They can just make videos. They can say, hey, I've never done it before, but it'll work for you. Well, how does that work? Now, as I stated before, just a little while ago, I am now hooked up to a small compressor. I'm hooked up to my big compressor. I'm using a long air hose so that I can spray outside of the paint booth. With that being said, I'm having absolutely no issues with pressure dropping while I'm spraying with the R500. Just like I could do with the A610 or any of these other you know LVLP spray guns so since I'm not going to lose pressure of course the spray gun is going to work great because it's got plenty of pressure so I'm going to be confident that the spray gun is going to spray like it's supposed to because it's got plenty of air but everyone doesn't have this type of setup so you want to see somebody spraying with a small compressor setup just like yours but a channel can only tell you hey it'll work I haven't done it myself but it'll definitely work how does that benefit you now as my yapping goes on I just want to apologize because this is one of the videos where it's just full of edits. You know, the footage is crazy. As I explained before in previous videos, we got some new uh, equipment. But uh, just kind of posting these videos to give you more content. And uh, these are some of the, you know, more talkative videos and just getting your thoughts on things. So, uh, we're right here on the hood of the 72 Monte Carlo getting it primed up. Again, edit after edit, but we're getting the job done. All right, back on today's discussion, which is LVLP, small compressor setups, and if, you know, you feel it's right for channels to give you information on something that they haven't done themselves so I've been doing LVLP content for a few years now showing you know everybody I can that they can spray their vehicle with the right spray gun and a small compressor now it's only been a few years but everybody every professional everybody on YouTube was telling you that you had to have a big compressor you know very expensive spray guns and everything to be able to do this type of work and 
here on the channel, we have proven time and time again that that was not correct. You know, I've done an old school overall paint job on a Camaro, did one on a Hummer, of course the Tahoe, which was, you know, the first big job that we did. You know, multiple jobs, you know, between primer and paint single stage we've done multiple jobs showing you how to do you know these overall paint jobs that you can do yourself at home with a small compressor and an LVLP spray job uh, paint gun and these other channels just haven't pulled that off so how can they continue to do LVLP spray gun videos without ever proving to you, the viewer, their followers, their subscribers, they've never proven to you that it could be done. They just going off of information that they got from a whole nother channel. There's a few channels here that I know for sure have done and shown, you know, LVLP, spray gun, and small compressor you know videos and there's very few but you know these channels that's starting to get a lot of views and and a lot of subscribers they never have to prove it so i i, I just want to understand how do you feel about it and does that even really matter should i be doing the same thing that they are doing or should i continue showing you that Hey, this is what really works. Just help me out. Should I follow the pack? Or should I do what I've always done? You know, when I started doing this uh, YouTube journey of showing people how to actually do this stuff in reality. Real life. Now, I'm not saying those channels don't have, you know, some knowledge and... You know, maybe they do know what they're talking about and a lot of what they show you. But a lot of them aren't showing you and proving to you what's really capable of someone that hasn't done this for years and don't really know what to do, what to have, what tools they need, and where to start. A lot of these channels are just, you know using people to their advantage and quite frankly I just don't think it's right now let me be the first to say that I am not the first one to do LVLP you know small compressor content on YouTube never said that I was none of that but I have brought you know video after video showing you that you could after all these professional channels, professional painters that told you you couldn't do it, you know, with a small compressor, you couldn't do it with, you know, the different paint guns, it's not going to work. They told you that. For years they told you that. They told you you needed all these expensive, expensive spray guns, and you didn't. And here on the channel, we are proving it time and time again. But some of these other channels, they just haven't proven it. They just, you know, take the information from other channels, you know, kind of copy their content and sell you spray guns, you know, and telling you that it'll work for you as well. Even though they haven't done it, it'll work for you. And uh, I just think it's time for that to stop. If you take a look at some of those channels, that's not how they started. They just hopped on a trend and kept it going. So again, jump in the comments, tell me what you think on this subject today. Alright kings and queens, we got the Montreal finished up. Again, first round of the primer. Got it all on. Gonna let it dry out. Came out real smooth. Of course, we're gonna block this thing out. And uh, see what uh, imperfections that we might have and fix those if we need to 
But uh, again, drop me some in them comments. Let me know what you think on today's discussion. Like I said, I know these primer videos ain't the you know most entertaining, but I tried to make it entertaining. That ain't looking good. I think this one gonna turn out nice. That's gonna wrap it up for the Monte Carlo. You know, it's looking good. So let me get back to work. I'll see you in the next video.